Okay, today we're talking about Pythagoras. He was born in 570 BC, and it was on the island of Samos, which is located in the eastern Aegean. His father was a merchant from Tyre named Nesirchius, and his mother was Pythias, who was a native of Samos. He visited Egypt around 535 BC. He became interested in mystical rites. He studied at the Temple of Diospolis. There was a Persian invasion around 525 BC. He was taken to Babylon as a prisoner. There, Pythagoras acquired the influence of Zoroastrianism and the much older religion of Magi. He made it back to Samos around 520 BC and he founded the school there. Students at the new school weren't really interested in his Egyptian teaching style. He, Pythagoras used this lack of interest as excuse to move to Croton, Italy in 518 BC. There he established the Pythagorean Society. He gained a group of followers that called themselves the Mathematicoi, who believed that mathematics was at the heart of reality and that its symbols possessed a mystical significance that drew the human closer to the divine. Pythagoreans were one of the world's first secret societies. They practiced vegetarianism and vows of secrecy and loyalty. The society was further ahead than most societies because women were allowed to enjoy full participation in their society and did so as full intellectual equals as men. One of Pythagoras' most important contributions to mathematics was his treatment of numbers as an abstract entity separable from all specifics. A number like two could now just be a number rather than an adjective to describe objects like two pillows or two alarm clocks. Pythagoras is commonly given credit for discovering Pythagorean theorem. The theorem states that in a right angled triangle, the area of the squares on the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the areas of the squares of the other two sides. Visual proof of Pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equals c square. That's that's a that's a square. Yeah. I I, I write left handed. We now know that this theorem was used by um, the Babylonians and the Indians previously. Um, even though Pythagoras was not the first to use this theorem, he was he is now believed to be the first to prove it. He and his followers showed that the sum of the angles in a triangle is equal to the sum of two right angles. Pythagoreans, and specifically Hippasus, are credited for the discovery of irrational numbers, even though irrational numbers go against Pythagorean principles which stated that all things can be expressed in terms of integers or the ratios of integers. Pythagoras sort of believed that each number had its own person and now that. In 508 BC, a noble named Cylon tried to force his way into the society. Pythagoras um, rejected him because he wasn't really into mathematics. Cylon got all mad and stuff and then Pythagoras had to flee back to Italy and then People say there he committed suicide rather than letting Cylon take over his society. 
He dead.